About 26 million Americans have type 2 diabetes, the kind often associated with obesity. Many struggle to control it with drugs, diet, and exercise. But new research out today suggests a different and surprisingly effective approach. Here's Dr. John LaPook. In 2008, Judge Parker weighed over 300 pounds. He suffered from type 2 diabetes, but still thought he could get the upper hand. I figured that if I do enough push-ups, <laughs> or you know, or something like that, that I'd lose the, the gut, and, 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 and it didn't happen. I, did, I really didn't, what, what didn't happen is I didn't do the sit-ups. <laughs> when he heard about a novel approach at the Cleveland Clinic, stomach surgery to treat diabetes, he signed up to join the study. 150 patients with poorly controlled type 2 diabetes were divided into three groups. One, including Parker, had gastric bypass surgery where a small pouch is created to replace the stomach. One had a gastric sleeve procedure where the size of the stomach is reduced. The third received only medications. After one year, 42% of those who had gastric bypass and 37% with the gastric sleeve procedure had their diabetes completely under control with normal blood sugars. That compares with just 12% of the patients using only medication. Dr. Steven Nissen helped run the study and was amazed by the results. In fact, many of the patients were taken off their diabetes medicine. Even though they were on no medications, they had a completely normal blood sugar. Their diabetes essentially went away. Over time, Parker dropped 130 pounds, but he lost the diabetes immediately after the surgery. Study leader Dr. Philip Schauer says that was common. We had patients in the study within literally hours or days of the operation before they lost any weight, reach normal blood sugar. I wasn't expecting it that fast. Am I thrilled that it happened that way? Totally. It's unclear why patients were able to get off diabetes meds so soon after surgery before losing significant weight. One theory, Scott, is that the procedures somehow allowed patients to more effectively use their own naturally produced insulin. Fascinating. Thank you, John.